Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Geek Lunch Meet. I'm your host Chris. As usual, before we get into the news this week, I just wanted to say I realised after I uploaded last week's video that it was in fact the 50th video um, that we've done here at Geek Lunch Meet. So I thought it was worth just acknowledging that little landmark. Um, we also hit 10,000 views this week as well, uh, which was absolutely fantastic. Um, thanks to everyone who's watched. Uh, a good opportunity for me to say, if you like what you see, uh, hit the thumbs up and also um, subscribe to the channel uh, if you could. That would be absolutely great. Uh, help the channel out a great deal. Um, I know some uh, established YouTubers get 10,000 views in the first hours of posting up every single video they put up. But um, I started this uh, channel back in lockdown um, to give me something to do and to try and build up a community of, of like-minded geeks. Um, and try and put a positive spear and everything. There's so much negativity out there. Um, so I try and keep it positive here at Geek Lunch Meet. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to say, yeah, thanks to everyone who's viewed. Um, and um, yeah, here's to another 50 videos. So onto this week's news. It's sort of little itty bitty bits of news this week. Nothing really meaty, just lots of little bits and pieces. First of all, um, Matrix Resurrections. It's uh, slightly less than a month now, I think, till that uh, hits the cinemas. Um, and they gave us a bunch of uh, character posters, um, which I will put up here. Um, nothing really um, shocking, nothing new. Um, obviously characters we've already seen was in the, in the trailer. Some, strangely, I think there was an interview and one of the co-writers said that Matrix Resurrections is not a sequel. Um, I don't know what he was getting at there. Um, everyone else seems to say that it is a sequel to what's already gone down. And also, like we've said before, that sort of reboot, uh, requel thing they do, a bit like the last Ghostbusters um, has just done, um, where they, uh, you know, a sequel in all but name, but also looking towards the future, maybe, uh, to bring in uh, fresh blood um, to, to carry the story forward if they want to. Um, so, yeah, I don't know if we'll get another trailer. Possibly we'll start. We'll get some teasers, but I suspect they won't because they won't want to give away too much of the story. Uh, the original Matrix, I remember, didn't get uh, didn't really tell us anything, uh, which is why it was sort of such a shock. And what the hell is going on um, when uh, which made the film? So uh, the old experience so great watching it in the cinema. So yeah, Matrix Resurrections is out uh, just before Christmas uh, cinema, and I think it's going to HBO Max in the States as well. So yeah, not long to wait uh, until we get to see uh, just what the story is uh, in that one. Also this week, um, Ridley Scott um, announced they were working on a Blade Runner TV show. Uh, we already knew there was an alien show in the works, Noah Hawley. Um, whose work I've loved on uh, Legion of Fargo is working on that one. But, but yeah, uh, Sir Ridley said um, that, yeah, Blade Runner, he, they're also working on as well. He also went off on one of his um, moaning old man rants that he does this time. Uh, to paraphrase, what was he on about? Uh, oh, that, that was it. The last duel, his last film, uh, The Bombed, um, he said... Audiences have been brought up on these fucking cell phones. Uh, millennials uh, do not want to be taught anything unless you're told it on a cell phone. Unfortunately, he's not he's not the first um, uh, sort of old school director who's come out. Um, he was slagging off superhero movies and saying that, um, you know, that they're not real cinema and that sort of thing. Um, yeah, it's a shame. Obviously, Ridley's, Ridley's a legend, um, you know. I will say I like a lot of his early stuff, his late, of his latest stuff. Really, The Martian's the only one that really uh, gets my attention. And uh, to be honest, it doesn't, it's strange, it doesn't feel like a really Scott movie. If you'd have said to me that was uh, more of a Spielberg, um, a late era Spielberg movie. Yeah, absolutely fits in uh, with his style. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem very really Scott to me. But anyway, um, he's got um, is it House of Gucci coming out this week as well. Um, if that flops, who knows who, who will blame that one on. But yeah, it's a shame, you know. Because at the end of the day, I mean, you know, has the guy ever sat down and watched Alien Covenant? Um, I mean, it's absolute garbage. Did he not, you know, he, yeah, I, I don't want, I'm not going to start ranting. Um, as I said, trying to keep this positive. Um, yeah, but really, Scott, um, Blade Runner TV show is coming along with the Alien TV show at some point. Jurassic World Dominion. We got, they finally put the prologue online. And uh, this was shown at IMAX cinemas, I think it was about five or six months ago, back during the summer. Well, they sort of showed a chunk of footage which shows dinosaurs 65 million years ago in their natural habitat and then gives us a little glimpse uh, of how the planet is sort of taking shape since all the dinosaurs were released at, at the end of the last movie. Um, and then just uh, it says, you know, coming next summer. So, um, yeah, hopefully they've sort of, I think they've released it to just keep it in everyone's minds because of the 
pandemic and the film has been put back. Um, so yeah, just keeping it in everyone's minds that everyone's coming back. And I, I mean everyone. Um, we've got obviously Chris Pratt um, uh, and Bryce uh, Dallas Howard uh, from the Jurassic World films, but we're also getting the originals, um, Sam Neill, Jeff Goldblum and Laura Dern as well, um, from the original Jurassic Park movies. Uh, apparently not just in cameos, in sort of uh, apparently in quite big roles. So I am looking forward to that one on like a good dinosaur movie. But yeah, the prologue, I'll put a link to it um, in the description below as normal. Um, so you can check that out. Dinosaurs look great. Um, you can see they're going by the new science and you can see they've got the sort of vestigial feathers and things like that, um, you know, as, as in the new way of thinking. Um, so yeah, all looks good. Looking forward to that one. Oh, also, very good news this week. Hayao Miyazaki, the legend behind Studio Ghibli movies such as uh, Princess Mononoke, uh, one of my particular favourites, uh, Howl's Moving Castle, obviously the Oscar winning Spirited Away, uh, Laputa Castle in the Sky, another great one. Too many to name. He's coming out of retirement uh, to do a final film. I think he's 80 years old. It's going to be called How Do You Live? I think he describes it as a big fantasy epic. It'll be obviously a few years before it hits cinema. Animation takes a long time. But it's great news. Miyazaki's a, a living legend. Um, and I love the fact uh, he was asked, why are you coming out of retirement to make this movie? To which he replied, because I wanted to, which is the best reason for doing anything in the world. Um, so yeah, there'll be some new Miyazaki coming to us in a few years time, which is fantastic. That's about it news this week. There's not been a lot at all. Some things uh, that uh, I have watched, um, the live action Cowboy Bebop adaptation on Netflix. Um, I said before, the, uh, the trailer um, I thought looked great. Um, and yeah, I'm really enjoying the show. I've got a couple of episodes left to go. But yeah, the whole um, vibe of it, yes, yeah, it's different than the anime. The anime is great. And I know, obviously, I know the show um, gets slagged off online by people. Well, it seems to be split 50-50, let's say. People who love anime uh, say, uh, you know, are saying it's crap. Because they say that about every live action anime show. And yes, a lot of them aren't very good at all. But this one is very good. And if you've not seen the anime, I'd just give this a go. Um, you know, people who've never people who've not seen the anime, you can see the comments online, people saying, oh, I'm absolutely loving it. It's very stylish, it's violent, it's quirky, it's different. Um, yeah, it's about three bounty hunters in the future. Um, Earth's uninhabitable because of a hyper gate hyperspace gate disaster that blew up the moon, chunks of the moon are falling down on Earth. They're travelling to Mars and various different planets. Um, they're not very good bounty hunters. Uh, they're always short of cash, short of food, short of fuel. Um, there's the three of them and their dog going about their business. Um, yeah, it's really different, really quick. The music, the music was always a standout in Cowboy Bebop. Uh, jazz, funk, fusion. Um, the, the whole show, in fact, you know, is a fusion of... Um, you know, Western, Kung Fu, Film Noir, it's all there and, and it's all there in the live action show. So that is on Netflix. I definitely recommend giving that a go. Also, we got the first two episodes of Hawkeye, the latest MCU series to drop on Disney Plus. And yeah, it's all right. It's still finding its feet. Uh, it's very much centered, especially the first episode, um, Hayley Steinfeld as um, Kate Bishop who in the comics takes on the mantle of Hawkeye. So she, you know, she's being sort of groomed uh, to take over. Um, yeah, it's got a Christmas theme. It's good fun. It's played for laughs quite a lot in the second episode. Uh, Clint uh, has to take part in this LARPing, the live action role play, um, and let some nerds uh, you know, pretend to beat him up with swords and things like that. Um, it's very good, uh, very good in the first episode because you see Kate as a little girl um, and it starts and you've got the Battle of New York from the first Avengers movie and um, you see it from her point of view, um, which is great to see some of the scenes from a different point of view. And uh, this is where she's effectively saved from one of the Chitauri warriors uh, by Hawkeye um, and he becomes a hero and she takes up the bow and arrow um, and goes forward from there. So, yeah, only two episodes. It's, you know, it's OK. It's um, it's quite good fun. All that, you know, the Marvel, you know, if you're a Marvel fan, there's a yeah. There's a lot of references, to various different things. It, it's it's a bit like um, planes, trains, and automobiles. You know, uh, is Hawkeye going to get home to his family? He's got five days. He's promised his daughter he'll be home for Christmas. Is he going to be able to defeat all the bad guys and get back to his family in time for Christmas? Um, I think we probably all know the answer to that. But um, it'll be fun to see it play out. Um, that's about it for me this week. Um, so yeah, say. So, Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for helping the channel grow. Um, so yeah, here's to another 50 episodes. Um, take care. And until next time, eat geek and be merry.